Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interesting life.com. You're joining me on board good old narrowboat Tilly for Dan's Ultimate Boat Basics. Today we're asking why on earth do canals have locks at all? Now if you want to see a video of how to take a boat through a lock, I'll leave a link to my instruction video in the description below, but that's not something you want to rush through in a minute, I'll say that much. But why do they exist at all though? Now basically, because canals are man-made, they obviously don't just naturally flow around the countryside and drop down like rivers and streams do through little valleys and waterfalls and things like that. And being man-made and set up to transport goods around the country, the last thing you want is a series of rapids somewhere in the middle of it as it drops from one level to the next level. So that's why you have certain areas where you have huge lock flights where if it's hilly or if you're going uphill or downhill in a good amount of um, feet that you're gaining or losing, then you'll see a lot of locks together. And that's a simple way to go, right, here's a bit of canal at this level, here's a higher canal or a lower canal, take your boat in and drop it down slowly, rather than just get to a point and have a straight up waterfall down to the next level as you would need a pretty sturdy narrowboat to shoot over the top and land safely in the canal below and maybe to travel a little bit faster than four miles an hour. I'm not advising that. Um, so that's the basic principle of literally being able to take your boat on a man-made body of water from one level of water down to the next level of water without having a ridiculous white water ride in between. Right, I hope that's made sense or been slightly interesting. Until the next time, keep it boat worthy and of course, farewell.